All right guys, one more thing about my valve body before I put it back in there now that the uh, car car is all adjusted is we also just want to mention the upgrades we did. I did a 3-4 cumulator spring. These springs on is right here, it's underneath this metal plate. Common the brake, you'll find them broken. Change it while you're in there, it's like seven bucks. This is the accumulator. This sits on top of the valve body when you're putting it back in your transmission. This is an aftermarket one. The factory one in here is a plastic POS, okay? It basically fell out. It didn't have any sealing properties. If you can compare the two between the billet aluminum with the double sealing rings, quality. That's going in. On top of that, we did the Governor Pressure Solenoid upgrade. This is an aftermarket one that replaces the factory plate. Changes the alignment with a Borg Warner high pressure solenoid and a new transducer, which is what failed on mine because the first time I tried to cheap out, yep, me, cheap out. I went on eBay and bought one for a pair, 90 bucks, Trans pressure, Governor Pressure Solenoid and inducer. And guess what? My engine light was on and it wasn't working right. So now I spent the money, I went ahead and got the right part. I'm doing it right. The other thing I did for an upgrade is what they call the Super Servo. This piece here goes into the transmission itself. That's the factory one. The aftermarket one, which is already in, again, 11% more sealing power and holding force than the factory one. It firms up your first, second, and second, third as far as you're shifting into and coming out of gear. This one, again, single ring. New one, dual rings, top and bottom. It's actually a three-piece design. Should firm things up. As you can see, I'm about ready to put it together, so catch up with you later.